Today we're going to flush the uh, cooling system on this Jeep. That's going to include the radiator, the heater core, and the engine block. And we're going to do this without pulling the thermostat. I know I've seen other places where people say, yeah, I just pull the thermostat out, and then they throw it away. You don't want to throw your thermostat away. For one, in the winter time, you're going to freeze your butt off because that, that vehicle's never going to get warm until you get to work or something. Two, it actually allows your vehicle to get to optimal temperature faster because the thermostat reflect, restricts water flow through the engine until it reaches temperature. Now your heater core runs outside of that loop, so your heater core still heats up and it's heating up faster because that engine's getting warm much faster than it would without the thermostat. So y'all stay tuned and we'll get into this. You keep wiping the Jeep. Good, you're sweating on everything. The whole floor over here, I can't step back in. Okay, the we didn't have to move the exhaust. We didn't have to jack up. We didn't have to do anything. Look at that. We have to take out the bottom hose to do a flush on it. And then you don't want to take off the pipe while you're down there? Nope. Because it will right. now, cover you in water. Nasty water. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing is we're flushing the uh, water out of this thing. Ready? Ready. Oh, yummy. I know I've seen others where they say you have to take out the thermostat, which is right here, to drain it. But you can also bypass that step by just taking out the hose for your heater core. And you can flush your heater core at the same time. No. There, don't stab yourself with the screwdriver. I'm not. <laughs> okay, mm. that is filthy. So he started the water, and basically it's just going to clean the mud out of the radiator, but that's not what we're looking for. We want to flush the engine. Mm -hmm. So he's going to put the water up to the into this hose right here on our heater core. Huh. And you see the water come out the bottom there out of our engine. And that is starting to run clean down there. Just a little bit more. So you gotta spray yourself a little bit more, Brennan. Right. <laughs> You're squirting me now. You did that on purpose. I can't help it. <laughs> there. There we go. Yeah, yeah, you're squirting me good now. <laughs> it, it's good. It's good pressure down there. Okay. Okay. Now take it off. Throw on this one right here. You see it's oh, filling that's up. Oh, a whole lot better. Well, we're flushing our core. Yeah. So this it bypasses our uh, thermostat, oh. flushing out the entire engine. But you see, it's starting to clear up there. Mm. Once that's clear, we'll go ahead and uh, reflush our heater core again, make sure that's all cleaned out. Mm -hmm. Now that we have everything pretty much clear, we're going to pull this pipe off too. And look at that mud. So we're going to take and rinse that out. Alright. So that's where our thermostat is. We're just basically, it's closed, so it's just going to wash it out. It won't take much. Hold that pipe up when you're doing that. Okay. This one. Just hold this pipe up and then put it through there. Oh <laughs> my god. Yes. And we may want to put a rag in the in there and and fill up our radiator so that we can uh, wash it out again. But you see the water right here and this is all clean. It just needs a little bit more rinsing. But our thermostat's right down there. And if we use this one, we can bypass that and flush the whole entire system. 
You see he's got the hose on the heater core one. It's not coming through here because the thermostat's closed. All right, there you go. It's clean. All right, well, what do you want me to do next? Now we're going to put a rag down in that bottom hole All right. to hold the water in the radiator until it comes out the top out of this hose here. All right. All right. Oh, he thought he plugged it. You're probably going to have to hold that rag. Yeah. There it comes. Come out of the top, and it's looking pretty clear. Okay, pull your rag out. Any dirt come out? Yeah, a lot. Okay. Feels dirty. Cleaner, uh -huh. really? Mm-hmm. One, One more? One more, yeah. Looks really clean. Yeah, it does. So now that we have it all flushed out, we're gonna put everything back together again and turn off the water. Okay, so now that we have our system flush, we're gonna put it all back together. He's gonna put the bottom pipe on first. Can you see it down there? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you could probably put that at the top so you don't have to get down there anymore. Eh, it makes it easier, easier down here. Okay, because uh, we did take out the shroud, so it's pretty easy. That's the advantage of having an electric fan. You have all this room in here. Mm -hmm. Tons of space. Now we're going to put on this radiator hose. We're going to leave our heater hose off. We want to get all the water in the system. Mosquitoes? Yeah. Mosquitoes are getting me too. Mm -hmm. That's why we should have did this first. Yeah. Try to put it all in the engine. Do you need your funnel? <laughs> there you go. You want to make sure you get the water all the way up to here before you uh, put this on, or else you'll uh, you'll overheat your engine. And it's to the top. Oh. Come on, then. Okay. Okay, now fill up. You have to tighten that. Now we should have all the air out of our system. Okay. Now we have to tighten this hose back right here. And then start the Jeep? Yes. I put this so it faces that way. Golly! Screw! Mm. Ah, it's, it's attacking my ear. <laughs> I can hear it buzzing. Okay, so the mosquitoes came out, so we're doing this in the, the daylight now, because we don't like mosquitoes. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Look at to that. Now we have to see if it circulates, so just oh, leave the cap off. Yeah, should, should I uh, fill up my overfill? Not with, not with, uh, not with coolant. Want to put water in there? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh -oh. I was thinking your uh, washer fluid. I mean, I can do that too. As it warms up, it should start circulating. Unless there's air pockets in the cooling system. You'll see steam coming off this. You want to make sure you have steam and that water has gotten hot. Also, turn on your heater and make sure it blows warm. Check your temperature gauge. Make sure oh, it's yeah, full tank. Yeah, make sure. That's, that's priceless right now. That's it is. A, that's a gold. But make sure your temperature is not getting too hot. And it's getting warm in this Jeep. After uh, you've ran it for a while, it should pull it down a little bit. But we left the heater hose off so we could, uh, of course, thoroughly make sure no air pockets were in the system. And then put your cap back on. And then you can fill up your reservoir. Let's see how much of a funnel he does need. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's just a rough start and an ending. And then you're good to go. All right. So it was fairly simple. Yeah, there was some uh, water sprayage and our son got a little wet because he was trying to push water through the, uh, the heater core there with the top hose. Now, make sure that you get the uh, hose closest to the thermostat for the heater core, because that will go circulate more through the system. And then you also want to put your hose 
down where you took the hose off for the uh, either core hose. Pretty easy test to do. When draining your system, be sure to, uh, if you're not just have water in it like this system did, be sure to capture that and recycle it because uh, antifreeze, the biodegradable safe, I guess, for animals to drink, it still has chemicals in it. The antifreeze, the old school antifreeze, will actually kill animals and it has a sweet taste, so animals are drawn to drink it. So don't, don't be responsible with your antifreeze. Don't leave it out because if you have a dog or something, they may go over there and drink that and then your poor pet's gonna die and it'll be a bad day. So don't do that. Or somebody else's pet. Or somebody else's, yeah, or wildlife. And uh, after all that, you're probably hungry. Go check out our blog. This girl makes some awesome recipes. We also have the videos on here on YouTube. You can just scroll down through our playlist. You'll see it. Watch she make it. Yeah, she's awesome. And uh, yeah, Good Eats. She does it every week. Well, we took off. We do take off sometimes for like holidays and things like that. But you know, everybody's got to have a break. Had a lot of cooking to do this week, y'all. <laughs> oh yeah, the juicy turkey that was blowing up, guys. And we just gave away. This was Thanksgiving, but uh, yeah, the juicy turkey recipe was blowing up on our blog, and uh, I think it's almost gone. Is the turkey almost gone? Our, oh yeah, our, our, her turkey's almost gone. Yeah. We have our two adult-sized boys and me, of course, eating it. She she got a little bit. We give her <laughs> just a little bit of it. But yeah, it was awesome. If this was if this video was helpful and you liked it, just show your show you like it. Give it a like. If you like our channel, you can subscribe. If you go to our blog, because uh, maybe it's recipes that you want to see, or it's uh, DIYs, and hopefully someday we'll be in travel, you can subscribe for just categories you want, and you get emailed the categories you want. Or there is a one-click there if you like to read our content with our videos. And y'all please take care. <laughs>